Okay, this video is going over how to convert numbers, large numbers, uh, or multiple digit numbers into scientific notation, which is an incredibly useful way for us to express these numbers that are either very, very large or very, very small. And it's something that you have to learn how to use properly moving forward. So the basic idea is that you're going to um, uh, take your number, write only the significant digits of your number, with uh, a number between 1 and less than 10, something less than 10, followed by a decimal point, and then the rest of your numbers. And then you multiply that times the powers of 10 that are needed to get, uh, to, that would be needed to bring you back to the number if it was written out in long form. So, this is uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple once you get the hang of it. But we'll go through these. Okay, so the first one we have here is 158,000 kilometers. So the basic idea is that when you have a number that is a large number, a number that's um, uh, much greater than one, you are going to take where your decimal point would be and you're going to move it to the left until you get to the point where there's only one non zero digit to the left of the decimal point. And however many spaces you move it, that is, uh, those are your powers of 10 that you multiply that number by. So we look at the first one and we go uh, move our decimal point to the left and it goes five spaces and then we have just uh, just the one to the left of the decimal point if we do this so we have moved five powers of ten essentially so our number uh, that we end up with is 1.58 times 10 to the fifth kilometers when we have smaller numbers like the next problem we take our decimal point and we do the opposite we move it to the right now the only difference here is that we have a number that's very small, it's much less than one, and so exponentially we're going into negative uh, numbers, so negative powers of ten to get smaller and smaller and smaller, the tenths, the hundredths, the thousandths place, place and so on and so forth. So as we do this, uh, we will count our spaces here. We have uh, going to the right six spaces. Uh, we go get to that nine and then we go one space further one uh, stop further so the nine will be to the left of the decimal point and then we write out our remaining numbers that's nine point seven eight two and then now it's ten ti uh, times ten to the negative six because we have moved our decimal place to the right and we're talking about a number that is um, much smaller than one so we're looking at negative powers of ten uh, in tenths and hundredths place and so on and so forth okay the next number is another very large number so we're moving the decimal point to the left we move it to the left eight places so we're, we are going to multiply this number times 10 to the eighth so it's 8.371 and we uh, all we carry over are, are our significant figures so we have 8.371 times 10 to the eighth cubic centimeters another very large number next we have uh, six let's see what do we have we have six billion five hundred million uh, so we will be moving our decimal point nine places to the left there are only two significant uh, digits here, so that's all that we write. We have 6.5 times 10 to the ninth square millimeters. All right. Next, small number now. We take our decimal point, move it to the right, three places. We have three significant numbers there, so we have 5.93 times 10 to the negative 3 grams because we have uh, gone to negative powers of 10 here uh, because we have a number that's smaller than 1 next number is much smaller than one so again we're moving our decimal point to the right till just after the six that's nine places so we have six point one three times ten to the negative nine next number is a large number so we're moving our decimal point to the left we have uh, moved it seven places to the left now if you notice we have one one two five five two zero 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 the one two five five two are all significant digits because they're non-zero digits. So those are the digits we have to write in scientific notation. We have 1.2552 times 10 to the seventh joules. Now we have a small number, moving our decimal place to the right. We move it to the right just past the eight, the first non-zero digit, seven places. So that's going to be 10 to the negative seventh. And the two zeros between the eight and the four, so we have 8004, those two zeros are significant. So we have to write 8.004 times 10 to the negative 6. Oops, it's negative 7, I believe. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is 6. I 
counted incorrectly down here, so sorry about that. That is actually 6. I wrote it correctly. Okay, um, next we have 0 0.010995. That number has five significant digits, smaller than one, so we will be moving the decimal place to the right, two places. So we have 1.0995 times 10 to the negative 2 kilograms. And finally, we have another large number, moving the decimal place to the left. We move that decimal place nine places to the left, and that gives us 1.05. Those are the, that, that number has just three significant digits, so what we have over here on the right will be uh, 1.05. Those are all of our significant digits, times 10 to the ninth hertz. Okay, it's pretty simple to, to do this. Uh, this aspect of scientific notation is relatively simple. You learn to use this, and it uh, makes life much easier moving forward in chemistry.